in a modest village called Haldi, 16 kilometers from Kolhapur. The Taji Rao, father of Vishwas Rao, lived here with his large family. Life in Haldi was simple, but as Dattaji Rao's family grew, his income needed to keep pace. Fortunately, in nearby Miraj, industries like leather footwear, musical instruments and tiles were flourishing. Dattaji opened an agency in Vasco, Goa, dealing in Mangalore tiles. In 1915, Vishwas Rao was born. By then, Dattaji's tile business was flourishing. He formed Chao Gule and Company in 1916. Young Vishwas Rao was proving to be a bright boy. And Dattaji sent him to the Ben and Smith School in Belgaum for a better education. Back home, fired by the spirit of entrepreneurship, Dattaji's wife, Parvati Bai, also started a small dairy business. Inspired by his mother's determination, Vishwas Rao himself started working early in the shipping industry on a princely salary of rupees 55 per month. A quick learner, Vishwas Rao learned all about the business of trading from Portuguese merchants at the port. He also began retailing luxury products like Ronson lighters, Kainzel clocks, Chrysler cars, Rolex watches, Dodge trucks, and balls, apricot liqueur. Eager to expand the export business, the company soon began exporting zinc, sourced from the Burma Shell Company. This was followed by coal, children's marbles, bamboo, coconut oil, and others. With this, the foundation of the first independent enterprise, Chogole Brothers, was laid. Seeing that manganese had great export potential, Vishwas Rao embarked on a tour of manganese mines, his only tour vehicle option, a bullock cart. As World War II ended, the great work of reconstructing war-torn cities had begun. This fueled a great demand for iron ore, especially from Japan. In 1950, the first cargo of iron ore from the Shirgao mine Goa left harbor aboard the Shonzan Maru for Japan. We give you the iron ore. You finance us for its development, was the famous Chaugale formula for its trade with Japan. The modernization of Murugan port by the Chaugales enabled the loading of 600 tons of iron ore per hour on ships bound for Japan. Most of this was pelletized by the group company, Mandovi Pellets. Seeing that the barges transporting soil from the mines needed frequent maintenance, the Chaugale group began repairing them in-house. The modest repair yard on the banks of the Mandovi soon evolved into a shipbuilding yard where barges of up to 1,500 ton capacity were built. Over a decade, the Chaugale shipyard built over 100 ships of various capacities for national and international clients. The experience gained by the Chagulis enabled the group to enter into cargo shipbuilding, building 27 vessels for the European market. Chagulay steamships started in April 1963 to meet the transportation needs of iron ore exports of the group. The three Liberty type ships that were initially used were soon replaced with modern bulk carriers to respond to the emerging market needs. The Konkan Sevak Passenger Ship Service was launched to enable people working in Mumbai reach their coastal villages faster by sea than by road. It served as a lifeline between Goa and the west coast of Maharashtra, a great instance where the heart ruled over the head. As Goa rejoiced in its newfound freedom from the Portuguese, Vishwas Rao realized that the progress of business and industry could only be driven by education and skills. At each of the group's four mines, schools were established, while the St. Joseph Institute, Vasco, provided education up to matriculation. Taking the course of college-level education further, the Parvati Bai Chogale College was inaugurated by Captain Lakshmi in Goa on 23rd June 1962.
Back in Kolhapur, industry was mushrooming and the demand for industrial grade oxygen gas was surging. The time seemed ripe for launching Kolhapur Oxygen in 1965. The picturesque village of Arlem in South Goa became home to the group's first brewery by the same name. Established in 1968 with Czech technology, Arlem Brewery rolled out two iconic beer brands, Arlem and Canon most of which was sold within the state itself. Most awaited by the Goan community was the Arlem Cricket Tournament, which ran successfully for 25 years. Adding flavor to the Chaugale's expanding portfolio of businesses, salt production was flagged off in 1978 under an agreement with the government of Gujarat, spread over an area of 5,000 hectares. As plans were announced by the Gujarat government to build a dam across the famed Narmada River, the Chaugale group realized the gigantic need for cement to the project. To satisfy the demand for cement, Narmada Cement started production in early 1980s in partnership with the government of Gujarat and other shareholders. Always eager for dynamic lateral expansion opportunities, the group spotted a great demand for explosives from the country's mining belt. Thus, Karnataka Explosives, or Keltec, was set up in 1977 in Mangalore. Growing healthcare consciousness and the IT revolution opened up a unique business opportunity for the group. Chaugale Mediconsult has made tremendous headway in offering a variety of IT-related healthcare management services. As construction boomed, so did the need for sealants and waterproofing compounds. Chaugale Construction Technologies offers specialty products and equipment in association with German leaders in the field. Driving the personal vehicle ownership revolution was the Chaugale's first Maruti dealership, which opened its doors in Goa in 1986. Since then, sales, service and spares dealerships were opened in Goa, Pune, Sangli and Satara. But the best was yet to come. In 2013, the group's biggest shipping-related venture set sail. Angri Port, a state-of-the-art cargo terminal located between Mumbai and Goa, in Ratnagiri district, opened its facilities to dock vessels of up to 35,000 DWT. Angri Port is focused on clean cargo and is equipped to handle and store containers, dry bulk, and liquids. Adjacent to the port is Laugan Dockyard, an ultra-modern ship repairs initiative of the Chaugale Group. It is today the only modern facility of its kind in India. Raising the bar on innovation, Chaugale Industries zeroed in to provide truck-mounted cranes and backlift loaders. Chaugale cranes are well received by markets across the country. To our legendary founders, Lakshman Rao, Vishwas Rao and Yashwant Rao, we owe the achievements of the last 100 years. We salute them whose vision stood taller than their stature. On their behalf, we thank our people and business partners, present and past, who helped make our founders' dreams a reality. As we stand at the doorway to the future, their values and attitude continues to fire our quest to dream the impossible and make them happen.